హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ అండ్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు ఆన్లైన్ స్పోకన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ క్లాస్ ఇన్ దిస్ మాడ్యూల్ వి షాల్ లర్న్ అబౌట్ కలెక్టివ్ నౌన్స్ what do you see in this picture yes it is a colony or a residential area a colony is a place where houses are located wait a minute Did you know that a group of ants is also called a colony of ants isn't it interesting yes it is the special names given to the collections of similar things or persons are called collective nouns Let us look at a few examples. A group of sticks is called a bundle, a bundle of sticks. Likewise, a group of photos, photographs is called an album, an album of photos. so the words colony bundle and album are collective nouns here is a list of collective nouns please repeat them after me a set of tools a team of players a team of horses a class of students a flight of birds a flight of stairs or a flight of insects a gang of robbers a gang of prisoners a heap of sand or a heap of stones a pack of wolves or a pack of cards a swarm of ants or a swarm of bees a library of books a troop of lions or a troop of monkeys a fleet of cars a fleet of ships an army of soldiers a crew of sailors a choir of singers a band of musicians a herd of elephants a herd of cattle or 
a herd of buffaloes a stack of hay or a stack of wood a range of hills or a range of mountains a board of directors or trustees the letters of the alphabet so when we talk about english alphabet we talk about the 26 letters of the english alphabet so alphabet is a collective noun and the word letters are used for its individual units like a b c they are three letters and not three alphabets oh what are these pictures look at them carefully do you see anything in common in these pictures yes in each picture we see groups of people but did you know that each of these groups has a different name let us see how a group of people at a lecture or a concert is called an audience a group of people in a church mosque or a temple is called a congregation a group of people gather together for some common purpose is an assembly likewise a group of people gathered without any purpose is a crowd whereas a group of people in a riot is a mob now please repeat these sentences after me an audience is a group of people listening to a concert or a lecture a congregation is a group of people in a church mosque or temple a mob is a group of people in a riot an assembly is a group of people gathered for a common purpose a crowd is a group of people gathered without any particular purpose let us recapitulate what we have learned in this module we have learned what are collective nouns we have also learned the names of some commonly used collection of things persons or animals that's all for now in the next module we will learn about countable and uncountable nouns thank you